does your mom think of me? Huh? What does your mom think of me? You don't know? Hey, you don't know? I think she likes you. You think? She told me she likes my ex better. Whatever, jerk. <laughs> <sighs> what if I just stayed here? Like, lived here? Well, when someone dies, their soul sticks to a spot that they loved. This would be my spot. Stop it. I don't like it when you start talking about death. When my grandpa died, my grandma told me something that always stuck with me. Your grandfather would have done anything for you, Perla, but breathing isn't always the easiest thing. <laughs> isn't, that, isn't that kind of a weird thing to say? Sounds morbid. Will your friends be mad at us for leaving? They'll get over it. I love people. I don't think they love me back. I love you. Too soon? No. No. Not at all. I don't think I like your friends. <laughs> they always seem to judge me. They're too dumb to judge anyone, Perla. Yeah. We have school tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Oh, our parents are going to be mad. My mom won't care. Your parents are probably already asleep anyways. Probably not. I mean, if you want to leave, leave. Not without you. What does living feel like? Like living? Wait, what do you mean? Wholehearted, complete living? No. Regrets, no second guessing yourself, just living in complete bliss, doing whatever the fuck you want without shame. Without wanting to escape. Everybody needs to escape, Perla. No one can just be a perfect liver. I want a better answer. We should head home. Oh, stop it, Damon. Me? No, I just wanted to stand up. Okay. Okay, okay, what is it you wanted to show me? It's way past curfew. Yes. Perla, you know I'm not good at these things. <laughs> not my problem. Okay, um, that Patagonia shirt I told you I wanted. What? No, how do you think I could afford it? No, try again. Okay, a new hoodie, because you stole my old one. <laughs> <laughs> well, what is this? Can you believe it? I already have a list of names. Avi, if it's a boy. Eva, if it's a girl. <laughs> Is your mom pregnant? <laughs> no. That's mine. Hey, man. Flowers. Whoa. Oh my god. Holy shit. Perla, have you told your mom? No, I wanted you to be the first to know. You'd be the father, right? Yeah, I guess. Perla, you're not planning on keeping it, are you? How would you be the father if I didn't keep it? Perla, I figured this out, okay? Can you come with me to tell my mom? Yeah, yeah, come on.
brought you these. I know they're your favorite. Third period absolutely sucked today without you. And honestly, I don't know why I'm in an honors biology class anyway. It's really cold out. Your mom's been calling me all day, asking if I knew where you went. I thought I'd just give you some time. Want my jacket? It's really warm on the inside. It's your favorite color, too. This is our bench, you know? Remember the first time we came here? This is mine and my grandpa's bench. I've been coming here since I was five. Yeah, you said that before. You know, we could make it our bench. I'd rather you just leave me alone. For now, at least. Told your mom I'd bring you home. I always used to bring you home. She doesn't like you, you know? She tells me all the time that you're a good-for-nothing that'll just turn out to be a high school dropout. Oh. Perla, you made the right decision. It took a lot of courage- I don't feel like myself. They ripped something away from me, and I don't feel like myself anymore. Perla, there's no way that you- You convinced me, my mom convinced me, everyone said I had to do it, and that I didn't have a choice to think about myself and my future, my fucking future. Now I feel like I've just become a piece of myself. They tore something out of me and threw it in the trash. Fuck my future. Fuck. Fuck your future. I killed something that depended on me. Mine. Damn it, all mine. <laughs> Fuck your future. Prova, you wouldn't have been able to take care of it. And your mom probably would have supported you. We only have two more years of school left, and it would have ruined your chances of graduating. I could have worked it out. It would have been worth it. You can go back home. I don't need you here. Prilet, you agreed to it. Don't blame everyone else for your own decisions. Now, I told your mom I'd bring you home. So that's what I'll do. I'm only a sophomore. There's not a whole lot I could have done. So what? Not your problem then? I mean, no, but realistically, what were my options? Be there? You could at least say you'd be there. Well, of course I'd be there, Perla. We're just kids. We shouldn't have to worry about this. Our baby? That shouldn't even be on our minds. If you're going to be like this, then fine. Fucking blame me. Everything isn't always easy, but I was right here. Do you think you can leave yet? 